Welcome back. My name is Nick. I'm Justin. And welcome to the Wag House. Where we review whiskey, liquor in general, and just about whatever we want. All sorts of things. Don't even worry about it. So today we have Old Elk Bourbon Whiskey. All right, Nick. So obviously the first thing that stands out to me is this like awesome pour that we have stuck in here. Exactly. That's the reason why I bought it. I didn't even know Old Elk. Actually, they start showing up on my Instagram a little bit, but I didn't know they had this nice little pour thing to it. Yeah, so I, I agree. I am definitely in their target market on all my social media. Oh yeah. So uh, it, uh, it definitely pops up my feed. I've never had it before. I've seen it over and over again. I see the pictures. I'm always, you know, been thinking about trying it, but you know, there's so many out there. Like, you know, I got to get them all just one at a time. So. Exactly, because they did have a couple, but this thing, dude, this thing that, caught my that, eye. That, I mean, it's got, it's got the whole like elk with a mouth open. And yep. So it's, uh, obviously we put it in, you know, before we started the video. We did. But uh, I think the thing looks, it, 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 it looks it's awesome. Pretty, it's pretty cool. It, it brings like a totally like look to it, you know, like that really, it's like, to me it's like a showcase kind yeah. of like whiskey, you know. And you know what, I, I, you know, generally, obviously we pour from the bottle like all the time. But you know, it's, there's something about using a pour is like it's a little bit more classy. Yeah, you know, it's definitely. I hold my pinky out or something. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's 88 proof, dude, and it's roughly around 50 bucks. All right, so it should so. be should be should be decent. Yeah, uh, it's, you know, it's got a kind of, you know traditional like strength for bourbon, and it comes at a price that you know that most good bourbons are you know would be priced at. Yeah, I mean uh, that's roughly how much a good bourbon would. All right, so uh, what else do we know about this this stuff? Uh, I think they're based out of Fort Collins in Colorado. Yeah. Um, I, I think the founder, his name was uh, Kurt Richardson. Okay. And then he has a master distiller working with him. That I think he, that he's been having like 38 years of experience. He right. kind of brings them that whole team. So. And then kind of they created this and their entire line of Old Elk. Yep. You know, whiskeys and liquors and spirits or whatever they call them. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I, I was thinking it was coming out of Kentucky, but Colorado. Yeah, it's whatever, you know, yeah. you got a lot of fresh water in Colorado. That's true. Let's try this out, man. Let's do it. Let's see this cool, this cool pour, I'm man. I'm excited, actually. <laughs> that yeah. is pretty cool. <laughs> I can't lie. That's really cool. Yeah. It drops. There we go. It's very traditional bourbon oh, smell. It is. It's it's got uh, definitely the caramels. It's very yeah. it's very strong in that one. Yeah. But hints of vanilla. So. All right. Well. Let's give it a shot, man. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. All right. I like it. It's good. A little bit of bite. Yeah. Not too much. But uh. Definitely get the sweetness on this. I kind of tip my tongue almost. Yeah. And it's, then it's smooth. It's. I mean, it gets a little bite, but I mean, it's it's not it's, horrible. It's not, no, it's not, it's, not, it's not overwhelming. It's not. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna cough my, my lungs up, but <laughs> no. It, uh, Again, the uh, uh, feel it. Uh, the oakiness for sure. There's an yeah. oakiness for it. Yeah, you definitely get in that barrel, whatever barrel that oak barrel they're using. Um, I got vanilla, the caramel. It's it's so it's, it's, it's just very traditional flavor. It's very. Almost. Most bourbons. I'm not saying it's not necessarily knocking my socks off. Exactly. But uh, but I like it. Dude, I would I would definitely if I saw this on a shelf at a bar or some or somewhere else, someone's offering this to me. This is no definitely order. one. I'd be like I'd be absolutely happy with. Exactly. And you I know? did. If I saw this thing, I'd be like, hey, <laughs> I want you to pour from that thing. <laughs> it's, 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 it, it, it is pretty cool. Yeah. So um, it, I mean, it's it's a good bourbon. I mean, it's it's 50 bucks, 88 proof. It's not, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's a good option to the whole category of, it is. of bourbons that are that are there. I mean, I approve of it. Yeah, so. I mean, it's it's not like like you're right. It doesn't really wow me, but it's a good bourbon. It is good. It's know? something I can it's obviously something... I can sip on for like quite some time. Exactly. I think if you wanted to mix it with something, you could mix it with something and not necessarily like feel bad. Yeah, like an old fashioned. Yeah, an old, like an old fashioned or whatever. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you know, you like to. Do with your bourbons. Exactly. Not, not everyone drinks neat like us. Yeah, no. So, I, I think it's good for mixing. I think it's good neat. I think it's good. It's probably gonna be good on the rocks too. And it's, I mean, it's all right. It's, it's a good whiskey. Yeah, I say overall, it 
it's it's fair it's it's yeah. good it's think, not bad it's not like it I think, blows me i think it's a good whiskey i think for that 50 to 60 dollar category it's like it's it's right where it needs to be exactly i wouldn't i, would, I probably wouldn't spend 100 bucks on it no uh it's definitely all. definitely worth more than 20 30 but dollar you know oh yeah no so i think i think it is priced exactly where it should be um and just where all those other bourbons in that, in that category i think it's it's a it's, it's another contender for like a good option what you rate this man i'm gonna say solid seven I think it's seven too. Seven, like it's it's good. It's good enough for like, yep. Yeah, if I were lined up with me a bunch of bourbons on the on the wall, like it's, pro it's probably a good chance I'd probably pick this one. But at the same time, like I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna probably actively seek it out unless it's like exactly. unless it's readily available. Yes, you know because I mean it is fifty dollars. Yes, and we can get something a little cheaper that hits us a little harder yeah but if we wanted like a good quality bourbon i would i would definitely yeah. get this again I think, yeah with the pour and all i think it'd be a, a great gift you know it'd be it'd be it's, it's definitely a little more unique than the average yeah. bottle and the average little like setup um with the pour they will probably display it yeah no absolutely problem. absolutely they, you know what this will make a, a really like i said i think a really nice showcase whiskey it would just because of this this small little detail they did like they added to this mm -hmm. you know Cause like, oh, okay, it's like any other bourbon, but I would pick it again because I like this pour. The pour is and pretty And that awesome. makes it, that makes a good story. In fact, I'd probably actually, I, I actually have a guy in mind that I work with that I actually would give this to as a gift. Yeah, I know. All right guys, if you liked our video, go ahead and click on the links below. It's gonna take you to our most recent uploaded videos. Please like, subscribe, share, uh, leave a comment below, let us know what you think. Why don't you guys pick up a bottle of Old Elk yourself and, uh, you know, give us a shout out when you guys do your reviews or, you know, let us know what you think and maybe, you know, a couple different ideas. Cheers. Cheers.